Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today I want to talk about lubricating locomotives. Specifically, in this episode, we'll be looking at diesel locomotives. What are the best ways to go about lubricating the gears and the motor, uh, motor bearings, etc.? Later in the week, I'll pull out some steam locomotives and we'll take a look at lubricating those. They're a little bit different, require a slightly different approach to uh, what you're going to lubricate. Before we get started though, let me ask again, please subscribe to the channel. All you have to do is hit the little red button here on the right hand side of your screen and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. The reason I keep asking this is, until I hit a thousand subscribers, I don't have access to all of the features that YouTube offers some of the uh, other channels that uh, are at that level. Also, I know from looking at the analytics that YouTube provides that somewhere around 43 to 45 percent of those of you who are watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So all you guys have to do is hit the subscribe button and pretty soon we'll be over that 1,000 viewer limit and I'll be able to do a lot more with these videos and access a lot of other features that YouTube reserves for channels that have reached that level. So please, go ahead, hit the subscribe button now and you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I've also added a link to another uh, video here on YouTube that explains the difference between subscriptions and notifications and the different types of notifications that you can select. So go ahead, take a look at that video when you get a chance, and hopefully it'll give you a, a better idea of how you can control your subscriptions and your notifications. Okay, right now I'm going to zoom in so we can take a closer look at the process of lubricating diesel locomotives. Before we get started with actually lubricating a locomotive, let me uh, cover a couple of things. The type of lubricants that I use. Specifically, I use two. Um, this is a Labelle 107 oil. It's a fairly light oil and it's great for lubricating things like the motor bearings and uh, the gear shafts that connect the motor uh, to the gear tower. It's also good for lubricating uh, connections between the valve gear and the like on steam locomotives. So we'll be looking at uh, this today as well as uh, in a few days when we look at steam locomotives. Like I say, it, it's a really nice little device that it comes in a nice bottle with this long tube so you can get down into those little difficult nooks and crannies uh, to get to motor bearings um, which are, are hidden in a lot of cases. The other thing that I use is uh, Hobby Lube white grease. It's HL657 and it contains Teflon. So it's a really good uh, lubricant for gears in, in the uh, locomotive gear train and that's basically what I use it for. So we'll be uh, doing a lot of work with the, uh, the, the white grease. Okay, this particular model that I want to take a look at next is an Atlas Jeep 38. It's uh, one of their more recent products, and um, it's fairly straightforward. Once you remove the couplers, you can gently rock it off of its chassis. It uses their traditional clips to hold the uh, shell onto the chassis, and those can be delicate, so be very careful removing them and putting them back on. Now as far as lubricating it, um, it's fairly straightforward to add a drop of oil on each side of the motor shaft so that you get the motor bearings lubricated. Um, also, I don't know if you can see it here on this end, but there is a uh, bearing here for the helical gear. So I go ahead and give that a little bit of oil. And you can't see it from here, but there's another one right on the other end. So I do both sides of that. Then we need to get down to the gears. Because you can't do that from above without taking all of this out. 
and I don't want to do that. So what you want to do is on the bottom of the truck, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer, okay, you take a screwdriver and you slide the tip of it up under here, and there's a little clip right here on the side of the truck. And those things will pop loose. Now be very careful doing this because you don't want to break those little clips off. And you can do it all too easily. But once it's lifted, they have a tendency to pop back in, into place by themselves. That's that side. I'm going to go ahead and pop this other one so we can get to it. Also, you'll note that once you release these clips and this cover plate starts to pop off, it also releases the side frames mechanisms and they will come off. So you're going to have all kinds of things falling off in your hands. So be aware of that. Okay, so that's off. That's now we have direct access to all the gears here in the bottom of the truck. So at that point, I use my label, or my, I'm sorry, I use my Hobby Lube grease. Just run a bead down through here, and that's it. Now, gently get these contacts back in place, like so, on each side. And these are what, the, the uh, side frame is what holds these in place. And like I said, this can be a pain in the neck to put back together. So, okay, so that's one side frame back in place. And you need to come to the other side frame, put it back in place on the ends of the axles, like so. And then slide the side frame back into place. While you're holding that, then put that cover plate back in place and push it down. And that will hold, it's got little clips that interlock with the side frames and hold them in place. So that's all there is to it on that one. That is the, probably the most difficult one uh, to do, simply because you're getting those side frames off of there when, the, uh, when you open that bottom cover plate. But as far as I know, it's a lot easier than trying to take this up, this all apart to access the top of the gear towers. Okay, okay. I hope that answers your questions uh, as far as how to lubricate diesel locomotives. Uh, they're not easy to get to. Um, hopefully, I've been able to edit out all of the problems that I ran into while I was doing this, because these things, after you've done it a few times, they get easier. But in the meantime, they can be a pain in the neck to uh, take apart and put back together. And each company has a slightly different design, it seems. Uh, so the next video, uh, look for it on Thursday, and we'll take a look at lubricating steam locomotives. In the meantime, hit the little icon of me that's going to pop up here in a second, and that'll take you to a place where you can subscribe to the channel. Also, I've added a couple of uh, links to other videos that uh, might be of interest to you. So enjoy the videos and we'll see you later on in the week.